It was February 11th, 1870, back when Fort Collins was youthful and Old Town was just town. On that day, Colorado's territorial governor and handsomely mustachioed Edward McCook signed his McCook onto a territorial bill that authorized the creation of a land-grant college that eventually grew into the booming university we know as Colorado State. The corner of College Avenue and Laurel Street wasn't always home to delicious burritos, sandwiches, and noodles. It was the first spot of land on campus to get buildings, the very first of which was a 16 by 24 foot brick shack known as the Claim Shanty. The shanty wasn't exactly a happening place, but proved to Colorado that Fort Collins wasn't going to bail on this whole we want a college idea. In 1876, Colorado became the 38th state. Yay, Colorado! A year later, the train tracks that we love to hate steamed in to bisect the city, and workers laid the cornerstone of what became the hub of campus, Old Main. It wasn't until 1880 that the first classes were held. Think of it as the world's longest grand opening. Then, about 44 students started the process of absorbing some uh -huh. serious knowledge. We can't go any further without giving a huge shout out to a fellow by the name of Ainsworth Blount, who kicked off Colorado State's epic research capabilities in 1879 by creating the College Farm, where they tested new varieties of crops like wheat. This was before gluten-free was a thing. The next few decades were dotted with some awesome folks whose names are only known for the buildings you have lectures and labs in. Theodosa Ammons, who pioneered the women's curriculum. Charles Laurie, who served as president for 36 years. And William Morgan, who transformed the college into a full-blown university. Today, Colorado State University is home to nearly 32,000 students, eight colleges, and remember that William Morgan dude? The library with his namesake now holds 2.8 million books. Isn't that ramtastic? Founders Day gives us a chance to reach back into history and pass out some high fives and fist bumps to the men and women who decided the corner of college and laurel would be a sweet place to start planting seeds and blowing some minds. <laughs>